Hello, good evening. <laughs> hey everybody. I'm Spencer. I'm Laura. And we're gonna play a game. Yes, we are. We're gonna play Not just today. any game. Which today, game? Today we are going to play dun, 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 dun. Haven. Haven. Do I need to tilt it? Shouldn't be a glare on this one. Nah. Yeah, look, you look you look good. The Looks good. The letters are always a little shiny. Looking good, just like you. Oh, thanks. Okay, so for this stream, um, I'm controlling our shots okay. again. Yeah. Hello again, Brian. Good to Hi, have you Brian. back. Brian. Um, so, in again. Yeah. So if you see me like looking this way, it's because I'm I'm looking at a uh, sound is good. I know I'm probably louder than Laura. Um, if you see me looking this way, it's because I'm looking at the screen. So. Um, but that's other than that, that's just how it goes. Yeah. Um, all right. Great. Maybe you should talk a little bit louder than normal. Oh. <laughs> hey, Bryce Henderson. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. There you go. <laughs> Is that loud enough? There, look. Now we're matched. Our levels are matched. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to play Haven. And during the stream, uh, yes, Family Maple, glad you're here. Glad Thanks you're able to. Thanks for coming back. Uh, see this first part of the stream. So since Family Meeple has got to go, we want to make sure we get into the game and get to the information about winning a copy of Deep Vents. Yes. So if you're here, if this is your first time, um, last night we gave everybody a chance to enter to win Deep Vents. Tonight we're going to give everybody another chance to enter, and then we'll be doing that every night this week. Yes. Each night we'll be playing Red Raven game. Tomorrow is near and far. What's after that? I don't remember. The Ancient World. I can't. And then how do we end the week? Ending it with Islebound. Islebound, that's right. And we're going to try something new today because we want to do it. This was Laura's idea. We're going to try adding a little bit of ambiance, ambient sounds that go with the game. Yes. So if it's too distracting, let us know. We can always turn it off. Um, but if you like it, let us know. Mm -hmm. It adds some nice mood. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> we want to get into it? Right, yeah. Like seconds before we started, Spencer went, oh shoot, I forgot how to play. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, I've, I've got it. All right, well, here's, here's the cool... So you've... you've, you've oh, it'll, like I said... After it'll, talking, it'll, you let your brain yeah. start rolling again. Okay, now I remember. Yeah, it'll come back to me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have this nice Haven play mat uh, we got from Red Raven Games to play on. Yeah. It is lovely. We've used this quite a bit, Isn't actually. It beautiful. It's great for rolling dice on, and mm -hmm. it's thematic. Um, all right, so we should have the music. Lars well, should be able to win. <laughs> hey, Mark, thanks for your kind words. Mark says that our playthroughs are helpful for learning new games. So hopefully you can learn uh, this one as we play. The music should be going. Oh, wait, maybe it's not. I haven't started it. And go. All right, this is some nice foresty music. If it sounds distracting, let us know. Let us know. It's really easy to stop, but this is uh, one of our favorite sites to use. It's called Tabletop Audio. They've got music tracks for pretty much any game. Yes, and they're even smart device capable now. You can even um, access it on your Amazon. I'm afraid to say her name because yeah. she's going to start asking me questions if I say her name. A-L-E-X-A. -E there you go. <laughs> okay. All right. Actually, before we get started, let's go over to, for the people who are wanting to know, how they can enter. Ah. Let's go to this giveaway link here. Ooh, so fancy, Spencer. Yes. So instead of having it over the screen the whole time, I'm going to go to this occasionally. Go to that link, bit.ly slash haven dash game. Laura, what is the secret phrase? The password is lore. Lore. And you'll see why that's important here in a minute. But L-O-R-E. Yep. So go, go there. If you filled it out last night and you already are following on Twitter and already visited Facebook pages, don't worry about that. Just go and do the other things that the, the form asks you to do, including entering the secret phrase, which is lore. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go back to the game here. Okay. So in Haven, what is the premise? Uh, so what's happening here is we have the forest where there's a, what's the big god called? Like there's a um, the main, Haven Guardian. Haven Guardian has fallen asleep and he can't protect the forest anymore uh, because he's so deep into his sleep. And the city dwellers, that's your team, are trying to take over the forest. And my people, the the forest, <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> are trying to stop you. Yeah. 
we're getting recentered here. There we go. All right, so. <laughs> I don't know what else you want me to say. That, that works for me. I think it gets the gist of the game. So we're essentially, we're buying for control of the forest. Mm -hmm. of, and what we're going to be doing is, on this board, you see that there are roads, and surrounding each road, or the roads will surround what is called a haven. So anywhere you see that is surrounded by roads is a haven. That even includes these large areas on the outside as well. That's correct. And so what we're going to be doing is we were going to have cards um, that we will use to not only, um, well, to kind of attract the uh, different elementals. We've got rock, leaf, water. And then um, we're also going to, we're going to fight for control of these these tokens and also for the shrines out on the board, these guys out here. These little dots. And we'll show you how that plays out. So Lara, draw three cards of your element, uh, your uh, Offerings, offering right. cards. If it's a play immediately, just put it back in somewhere. Okay, and then draw one seeker. So in this game, you've got a seeker deck you've got an offering deck, and then you have a power card deck. Um, you're going to be playing seekers and, uh, what are these things called? Offering cards on this side of the table. And power cards will be played at certain, play, certain times in the game, whenever, really whenever you want to. Um, they're special ability kind of things. Um, okay. There's also these really great turn summaries out here that for both sides to use. Yes, they're very helpful. One of the better uh, turn summaries I've seen in any game, mm -hmm. any kind of game. All right, so uh, city goes first, and on your turn you've got an option of doing three things. One is to add a seeker. Oops, let's go ahead and flip these over. We need to know how much we're trying to get here. All right, let's turn this this way. All right, so we've got five, five, and seven. You're going to be putting cards out, and you have cards with seeker cards. Seeker cards have a number on them. Um, you can see the number right there. They also have a combat value on them. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be fighting and trying to reach the lower value. So without busting. Without busting. So we'll we'll show you exactly what that means. Mm -hmm. So city goes first. You can either add a seeker here. You can remove a seeker if you tr think you're going to go over the number, or you can play a lower power card, which. Mm -hmm. I don't have any yet. You can forward two actions, choose from any of those three. Or do none of them. You can completely skip your turn if you want to. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to, if you play a seeker card from your hand, it goes face down. So that your opponent doesn't know what it is. Mm -hmm. You also have the option to draw one from the deck, but you have to determine, you have to de declare where you're going to put it first before you do it. And you then you'll place that one face up. Okay, so I... A little I'm, bit of a gamble that way. And so let me show you what that looks like. I put that here. I'm going to put this on the stone as well. Okay, so right now all Lara knows is that I've got at least one here and a sword. Okay, after you do two actions, then you will draw two cards. So I will draw a seeker card. I'll draw two seeker cards. Okay. Um, at the end of your draw phase, you should always end with at least one offering card in your hand. Mm -hmm. Because, here's what's about to happen. You look to see, first of all, if you need to resolve any of these tokens. You need to resolve it if there are three offering cards. Well, right now there total. are... Total. Total. That would include mine that I would have put out. Yeah, total on each one. Right now there are none, so I skip to the next phase, which is offering. So I'm going to put down this offering of... Well, I want to get this one going. This stone. So here's a stone offering. Now, if this stone gets two, two more, either on my side or Lara's side. Offerings. Offering, what'd I say? Just two more. Oh, two so more offerings. So want to be specific. Yes. Yeah. Three total offering cards on an element. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I've done that offering. End of turn. If I had seven cards, I needed to, to discard down, but I don't. So now, over to you for your turn. Okay, great. So first, I will add a seeker from my hand face down, and then I will also take a seeker from here and add that to stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a helpful zero. Now, that might sound, why is that helpful? It can be helpful because a tiebreaker is determined by who has the most cards on the table on their side mm -hmm. 
for that particular element. So even if it doesn't add value, it can still help you with breaking ties. It's also helpful if I were to play a zero from my hand, Laura might think that it's a one or a two, even though it's a zero. So she might think that I've busted on the number, even though it's a zero and doesn't add anything to the value. Okay. So. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. So I'm going to draw two cards. I already have three offering cards in my hand, so I'm not going to worry about those right now. So I'll take a seeker and a lore power. Okay. Um, resolve, check to resolve. We don't need to resolve anything yet. And so now I will put down an offering and I will put that here. Relief lore. Give everybody a closer look at what's going on over here. Ooh. Yeah. Do I need to, oh, I need to move this up. The yeah, I'll just scooch this up. up a little bit. There we go. Now you can see. Yeah. So we only have, I only have one, there's one offering for leaf, one for stone. Yep. There we go. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Yep. So that's what that looks like. And now over to me. Yes. So turns are very quick with this mm -hmm. game. I will. I got to do two actions. So I'm going to play. It's helpful if you remember what your numbers are whenever you put them face down. Um, so I'm going to play this. I think it's good. I think I'm good. All right. So I've got three cards there. And I will... Mm, I'll play this one face down here. And then I will draw two cards. And then make an offering to the stone. Oh man, he's really trying to pull that along. You cannot check if you forget. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the question was posed. If you forget what the cards are, can you check? You cannot. No. Okay. I don't know if it specifically says you cannot do it, but that's, that doesn't say that you can. I think it's... I am going to... Okay, it, that was end of turn for you. Yeah. Okay, all right. So I will play a Seeker face down. There, he's really trying to get that one going. And I will play another Seeker from my hand, mm -hmm. or from the deck, face up on stone. Ooh, that could be bad. Could, but it might not be. That's what could, but it might not be. All right, so I'm gonna draw a seeker and an offering. Let's look to resolve. Still, we don't have three offerings on mm -hmm. either of them. All right, and so next I will place my offering and I'm going to put that on leaf. Brian says that's why his wife always wins the game because he always forgets what he played. <laughs> Laura's much better at memory than I am. I don't know. You did. You've been doing pretty good when we play silver lately. That's true. I'm because I'm focusing really hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that it for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, Laura. This is not sponsored by the sparkling water bubbly, but it is delicious if you've ever tried it. it do, Hey, do you drink sparkling water? If you do, what is your sparkling water of choice? <laughs> How's that for a discussion question? Okay, so my turn. Okay. Two actions. I will add a seeker. Okay. I will... I need to get a lore power card. I will add a seeker to the... Water. Ooh. Okay. Oh man, I don't think I ever saw that last mm. game we played. And then I draw Maybe. two cards. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'll draw a power card and a seeker. All right. Okay, resolve. Offering. Oh yeah, there's nothing to resolve nothing yet. Nothing to resolve. Um, I'm gonna do this here so that we can get something to resolve. Okay. Family Meeple says they drink bubbly water. Well, not bubbly water, sparkling water. Mm -hmm. And it's Pellegrino. Very cool. Awesome. Flavors. You can get it just plain. Pellegrino. Oh, okay. Is it kind of like um, Topico? Topo Chico? Oh, yeah. That stuff. 
Forgive him, internets. Okay, Topo Chico. Yeah, that, okay. that's not flavored. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, you made your offering. <laughs> yes. It's the end of your turn. So here's a look at what our board's, or our card state looks like now. We've got- Ugh, knocked it crooked. I know. Um, no. We're about to resolve on Lara's turn. Not on my turn, but on Lara's turn, we'll be resolving the uh, leaf element because there are now three offerings out. Mm -hmm. So I am going to play a seeker face down onto the leaf. I will add a seeker to water. Mm -hmm. There's a zero again, but it's got arrows. Yes, it does. Okay, and so next I will draw two cards. So I will draw another Seeker and I will get another offering into my hand. Oh, play immediately. Uh-oh. Leaf Elemental. So it just automatically gets added on mm -hmm. there. Again, it could go ahead and force the resolution or it's simply going to add more for my uh, tiebreaker if mm -hmm. that happens. So. Since that came out, that doesn't count as one of my two draws, so I get to draw again. Okay. And resolve. Okay. So. What we'll do now is if there are any face down cards, we'll flip them over. Let me go over the there. All right, so, Laura, what's your total? Three. All right, my total is two. But, oh, and you have, but we tie for combat. So Laura has two arrows, I have two swords. Um, so that's two attack for each. So here's how we're going to resolve it. We start with attack first. Since there's a tie, um, it goes to whoever has the most cards, right? Which is me. Which is Lara. So if you win in combat, you get to put down a shrine. A shrine. That's on any of these parts of the board. So do we want to change so they can see that? Yeah, let's go to the board. Okay, so I will put this here. Okay, and then when she puts down a shrine, I get to move an element. Uh, elemental? elemental? Yeah, okay. It's elemental re Watson. Oh, no. The elementals can move anywhere on the board, and as long as it's there, you cannot place a shrine at that spot. Okay. Next, highest lore value. So, that's me again. That's Laura, because she's got three, I've got two. So I get to take this token. These tokens are worth one point at the end of the game, but also whenever you get all of them, you'll total them at the end of the game. And so whoever has the most value, the highest value in each um, element mm -hmm. will also get a bonus point card. Yes. Okay. All right. See you later. Family Maple. Have a good evening. Thanks for joining in. All right. We'll see you later. Um, so I also claim this for a uh, highest lore value. If you lose both weapons and lore, here's what happens. Now that we're done mm -hmm. resolving that, we're going to take these cards out of here. But Spencer, since he lost both the lore value and the weapon value, he gets to leave a seeker of his choice I do. on the table. And I'm leaving, it, leaving that one. Okay, now we're going to reveal our new lore value for the leaf elemental. Mm-hmm. There so there's go. something else. Was it, I guess, oh, that was if you get a shrine. Oh, right, not a shrine. It's if you claim a haven. That's what yeah. I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that my was turn? my turn. Yes. All right, an eventful Oh, did you make an offering? Oh, nope, I did not. You were right. Well, let's go ahead and get it rolling. Let's put that Ooh. out there. Okay, my turn. Um, first thing I'm going to do is going to play a lore power. And this is Dust Storm. Gather all of your Seekers in play and redistribute them face down. Hey there, Wiimote32. Thanks for joining in. Thanks. We like the playmat too. That's, uh, it is a haven playmat to match our game. It is. After I finish my turn, let's go ahead and throw up that link here in a second. Um, so I'm going to put down... Put them all face down. Oops. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> do you know what you're doing? I do. Okay. Okay. 
Um, and then, so that was my first action. Yes. My second action will be to play this. You played a lore power card, and now yep. you're playing, you're adding a seeker. Yep, now I'm going to draw two cards. Draw mm -hmm. a seeker, and... What you got? Another yeah. seeker. Okay, two seekers. Seekers are important. Okay, now we will resolve. Re resolve. We will resolve. So, let's go here. And we have... We have three on the stone elements also. Let's see what our total is. Boom. Boom. All right, so we tie for lore value. I win on combat. So by winning, I get to, right? Yes, you have the most weapons. Okay, so I will put out one of my shrines. Place a shrine and I will get to move an elemental. I'm gonna, ooh. I'm gonna put it here. Hmm. Okay. okay. Let me go back to. Wait. And there. Okay. And Next then. Next is lore value, which we tie. Tie who so has more cards? There we go for most cards. I have one, two, three, four, and you have four. Four. So then from there, it's city or forest. But when it comes to lore value, Forest wins tiebreakers. Yes. So you win the tiebreaker, which means you get the token. The token. Wemote says, last play of this game, he owned every uh, haven, but lost to his wife. As much as dominated the board, she dominated the lore. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta do both. Yes. Okay. Love that. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll clean all these out. We'll flip this guy over. Do you want to throw the link yes. up there? All right. So for those that are just joining. Welcome. Welcome. Here is the giveaway link. So if you go to this link, bit.ly slash haven dash game. Haven? You, I'm sorry. Yeah. Haven dash oh, game. Oh, changed every night? Yeah. I'm oh, changing okay. every night. To try to win a copy of Deep Vents. Yep. Uh, Deep Vents is the game that we were giving away. It is not this. We played it last night. So if you didn't watch it last night. Go catch that replay. It's on YouTube. Um, but you can go to this URL, enter the secret phrase, Laura. What is the secret phrase for that form? Our secret phrase for today is lore. Lore, L-O-R-E. Mm -hmm. Secret phrase is lore. Bit.ly slash haven dash game. Secret phrase is lore. For your chance to enter or to win a copy of Deep Vent. Deep Vent. All right. Okay. Did you make an offering? I did not. I forgot about that. Um, I guess I gotta go here. You don't gotta. Oh, that's the only one you have. That's the only one I have. Gotcha. Okay. Next. I am going to... I'm gonna do this. I'm going to play this for my hand. Okay. Right here. Mm-hmm. Then I'm also going to play my lore power card. It says, inspect your discarded seekers and put one into play face down. Ooh, that's a good card. All right, so I'm going to look through those discards one of them. Oh, <laughs> yes. What do you see there? And... This guy is going in. Face down. Okay. So I added a seeker and I played a lore power card. Next, I'm going to draw two cards. I'm going to get some more seekers. And lore power. Lore power. And I see what you did there. Let's resolve. Oh nope, no resolve. No resolve. We don't Nothing need to, resolve. to resolve. Um offering place one. I will do that right there. Add one water. to the water elemental. And that's Death. my turn. Okay. Um I'm gonna play this seeker here. And I guess I will add a seeker from here to the to the stone. It's zero. Okay, I'm gonna draw cards. I've got to draw one of these guys, and I will draw another one. I hope the music is okay for y'all. Let us. I know don't what you think, think it's going that. actually. Oh. 
I think there was an issue. Oh man, if y'all can hear music, let us know. And if you can't, let us know. We were trying to play some ambiance music for you guys. So it's going here, but I don't see the sound waves on the... Okay. See where it says audio output capture? That okay. should be going. But Go ahead. Not. Okay. Um, so I played my actions, I drew my cards, now it's time to make an offering. Boom. Oh boy. Okay, end of turn. End of turn. All right, uh, no music on Facebook. Okay. All right, so I will start out by performing my two actions. I'm going to add this guy here face down. And I will... I'm not going to perform another action. Okay. That's it. What That's an what interesting do. choice. And now I'm going to draw two cards. Draw this guy here. And this one here. All right, time to resolve. Let's okay. Let's see here. We have three offerings on the water elemental element. Yep. So time to resolve that one. I had oh. forgotten. All right, I've got seven. So do I. Why do we keep tying? This is crazy. Um, you but I win have combat. more cards all around. Oh, so I win all of them? Yes. Okay, well, let's start with combat. Um, Place a shrine. Oh, and that elemental has to be in the way, doesn't it? But this, there are three spots, right? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And I own two of them. So that means I get a haven. Okay. Which, when I get a haven, you get a, a power, card. power card. And since I also placed a shrine, you get to move an elemental. Um, not because you play. Oh, yeah, you placed a shrine. That's mm -hmm. why. I'll move you. Hmm. Here. Okay. Um, and then I also win lore value the token These go away you get to keep one seeker There And all of our cards go away, okay, all right Good one. All right now. Thank I you. need to make an offering There's that and that is the end of my turn. Cool. Here I am with two cards again. <laughs> that's what happened to me, and so that's why I only did one action mm -hmm. on my turn. Um, oh, here's how I get around that problem. I'm playing this to rock. And this one to rock. Woo! Dude. That was close. Oh my goodness. Beat that. Okay, and I'm gonna draw my two cards. Uh, one, two. -hoo. Go for a power <laughs> card. I haven't drawn a power card in a while. Okay, nothing to resolve, so I will make my offering. I'm gonna go here. I'm being a rebel. Ah, uh, air conditioner just kicked on. That feels good. <laughs> okay, and that's it. Okay. Oh my. That's the end of your turn? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna play a lore power card called Rejuvenating Fruit, and for each lore token, declare and draw one seeker face up. Oh. All right, so I will start with stone. Stone. Watcha. Ooh, that's a fun little guy. It's root song. Okay. I'm gonna play this one to water. Oh, watcha. That's a pretty little guy. Treehorn, he's not so little. Mm. And then, Lastly, leaf. And that is a nice. It's a leafling. Leafling. Yep, he's a leafling. Or is it? Is it a he? I can't tell. Okay. And I'm going <laughs> to. Um, okay. Add another. I'm going to play one face down from my hand. In the bear. All right. Draw two cards. I need offering. E. Yes. Um, yeah, two offering cards. And we don't resolve anything yet. Nope. And so now I will 
make an offering. And I will put that here. Cool. There we go. That's the end of my turn. Thank goodness. Wiimote32 asks, any favorite board games to play over Zoom slash FaceTime? Kind of a board game, a tabletop game that we played um, that we need to get back in on mm -hmm. is um, Consulting Detective yep. from Space Cowboys, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a... Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective that just one of you needs to have a copy of the game. Um, the other people can access elements of it mm -hmm. uh, as far as like the newspapers to research and whatnot when it comes to deciding leads. Um, but at least one of you has to have the lead book and you're set. Um, it's yeah. easy. There's no needing to like position cameras to look at boards and cards and all that stuff. It's literally just talking to each other. But you could technically do it over the phone, I guess. Yeah. That would be fun though. Unless you don't like the people, you don't like to look at the people you're playing with. Yeah. Or maybe you don't feel like getting dressed or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you don't have a camera. I don't know. Why? But yeah. But you have your reasons. I don't mean to pry. <laughs> it's none of my business. But you do you, man. Basically what she's saying <laughs> is that that's the only game that we've played over Zoom FaceTime. Yep. So it's our favorite. There we go. What about you, Wemo? Yeah, what would you or, recommend? Or anybody else? Has anybody else played any games over Zoom or FaceTime? Let us know. Let us know. All right. My turn. Yes. I will, first of all, before I do anything else, I'm going to play Path of Vines. Draw three Seekers and place one face down at any lore token. Uh-oh. Put the others at the bottom of the draw deck. One, two, three. What's he going to do? What's he got coming? Okay, put these at the bottom. And then my other action will be to play one. Play that down there from your hand. Okay. All right, I'm gonna draw. I've got to draw an offering card because I don't have any. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna draw another one. Good call. Thank you. All right. Resolve. Nothing to resolve. Nothing to resolve. And now you need to make an offering. Which one? What's gonna be? Ah, Water. Okay. And end of turn. My turn. Okay. Let's. Remember that time I got a haven? I do. <laughs> okay. I'm going to play a lore power card, the Elixir of Life. Double the lore value of one of your seekers in play. Count it as two cards. Keep Ooh. this card in play until resolved. I'm going to double the value of Treehorn here. You would. So I'm going to put that next to Treehorn so that I don't forget that that's who I want it to go to. And then I'm going to play a Seeker from the deck. Okay. And that Where? one goes face up, right? Where? On Leaf. Leaf. Okay. Getting okay. closer. Yes. All right. So now I need to draw two. I'll take an offering and a seeker. And now resolve. There's nothing to resolve. Figure out. And I will add. I'll add some of that offering right there. Some water offering. There hmm. we go. I see how you do. Little known fact, some people might think that this game is designed and illustrated by Ryan Lockett. It is not. No. Of course, it is illustrated by Ryan Lockett, but it's designed by Mr. Alf Siegert, yes. who also designed Dingo's Dreams, another Red Raven game. He's done some other games, but since we're doing Red Raven's games. Did you do Artifacts, Inc.? No. Oh, okay. No, everything else is Ryan. Except... And team. And... Hey, David. Hi. Da David's just hi. dropping by to say hi. Hi, David. David, if you want to enter the contest to win a copy of Deep Vents, uh, check out this link, bit dot, or bit, bit dot Lee. Dot Lee slash right. haven dash game. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fill out the form, and the secret code word is lore. Lore. There's a prompt for you to fill in a super secret special word that we dropped in this game and that is lore uh, for you to be able to complete that form and enter a, for a chance to win deep vents yes deep vents is a fun game and thanks deep, for dropping by yeah thanks for dropping by yep we um, played deep vents last night it was a blast yeah so if you want to check out 
um, our playthrough mm -hmm. to see how it goes. Go do it. All okay. Right, you go ahead and do your turn, and then I'll read that stuff. Okay. Um, so what am, is it? My turn still. I don't remember what happened. You haven't even oh, started. Oh, I played this. I played <laughs> Path of Vines, and then I will play. I'll play one face up to the leaf. Okay. Nothing to resolve. So, oops, I gotta draw two cards first. One. Oh, play immediately. There's water. Then I will draw another one. Oh, play immediately. There's stone. And then I'll draw another seeker. Okay, so now we do. We've got two to resolve. Whoa! So we start, we go from left to right. So here we go, let's Your go left. over. Yeah, my left. <laughs> Um, Real quick, Mark says we've played several games via Zoom. Dominion, Machi Koro, Wingspan, and Queen Domino. Wow. Everyone needs to have a copy of the game. That's yeah. so true. We've also played several roll slash flip and write games. Cartographer, Welcome to, Rolling Ranch, Railroad Inc., and Gans... Gans Sean Clever. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Weemote says, played Omega Virus with my nephew, a vintage co-op electronic game. It was a hoot. I, that would be fun. Yeah. Been wanting to get Forbidden Desert on the table with him, too. I think co-op goes well with Zoom. Definitely. I, I, can do, I can see that. Yes. It's easy to talk through things with mm -hmm. people. Well, I mean... Sherlock Holmes Consulting, Consulting Detective, Detective is yeah. co-op. That's that's how we roll on that. All right. But so not today. Not today. Let's go over here to us resolving. So you're gonna start with stone element. Yep. Start with stone. Okay. All right. I've got seven. So do I. There we are with the ties again. <laughs> All right. I win combat though again because the city is evil. Yes. Um. So you get to place a shrine. I'll put one there. Uh, yeah, I'll put one there, <laughs> <laughs> and um, you get to move an elemental. No, oh, you would. Okay. okay, but I win lore value because I have the most cards. Oops, let me go over here to the board real quick. That was not shown. So I put my shrine here, and Lara moved the elemental here. To block so... him putting another shrine there and taking... Putting it even there, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's blocked now. All right, let's go back over to here. Okay, so I have the most cards. Mm -hmm. So I win. You're getting all those tokens. Hey, it's it's kind of being like Brian, where you're wearing, winning all the and because, tokens. Oh yeah, I moved the elemental. Um, since you lost. Oh wait. I think nothing. we're good. Yeah, nothing. You get nothing. Get nothing. Well, you got. A shrine. I did get a shrine. All right, so now we need to do water. Yes. All right. Okay, so you need to flip yours over. You I've have five. got five. I have six because of my elixir of life. Double and tree horn. elixir is junk. I also win combat, so I get to place a shrine. Ooh, good. Ooh. I'm glad you get to put one down. <laughs> so I will place a Move shrine. Move over to the board. I'll place a shrine here. At this junction. Okay, so okay. I get to move an elemental. Yeah. All right, I also uh, win the lore value, so I get to take the token. Okay. And um, since you lost both, you get to leave a seeker there. I will leave this seeker here. There we go. All right, it's getting exciting. Man, things are kind of rolling. Let's flip these over, see what our new lore value is. Brian Johnson wishes we could keep Red Raven, Red, Red Raven, Red, Red Raven? Raven Week going by adding Rome and Empires of the Void too. I want to add City of Iron, <laughs> but it's not going to happen because it's humongous and won't fit on a camera. <laughs> what we want to do, and I've been wanting to do this forever, is play 8-Minute Empire and mm. see if we can do it in 8 minutes. Mm -hmm. Go as fast as we can. That would be fun. Yeah, and we do need to do Eight Minute Empire. Yeah. That would have been good. Mm hmm. We could also do Above and Below. Um, yeah. Mega Land. So many possibilities. We go for there. two weeks. We, do we still have Artifact Sync? No. No. But yeah, Eight Minute Empire, we haven't touched that game in a long time. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. So. It was hard to choose which ones to do for Red Raven Week, mm -hmm. so we feel you, Brian. 
What, uh, was that your turn? I don't think so. That was yours. You played two You're right. of those things. You still have to make an offering. I'll make an offering. I'm just getting so excited talking to people and trying to be funny. It's, it's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's his turn. Okay. All right. My turn. I'm going to play a seeker from my hand. Okay. And I will use this lore power card. Declare a lore token and draw two face up seekers for it. And I declare water. Bankruptcy. <laughs> you might want to shuffle the those. Board. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they don't put like. Oh, I've been using them in the wrong places. Here Whoops. Was... That's probably my fault, because I'm the one that set up the board. It is your fault. I'm going to blame you for that. I just assumed that it was mirror, not mirror image, but you know what I mean? But it is mirror image. Yeah, you meant mirror, but it isn't mirror. Yeah. Doesn't change any gameplay, folks. Just placement on the board. You said folks. 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 Okay, all right. I need to put one more seeker there on water. Face up. Wow! Would you look at that? That's... Okay. And I'm going to draw two cards. I'll draw an offering and... Oh! Water elemental. Play immediately. <gasps> Stone elemental. Play immediately. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to take a seeker. <laughs> um, resolve? Nope. Not yet. Not yet. But... I'll make an offering. And it's gonna go leaf. leaf! There it goes. And I'm gonna shuffle up my... Fun fact. Here. I forgot what my card is there. <laughs> so I don't know if I Are should add surprised? another. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? I don't know if I should add another. Okay, so it's my turn. I will add one. Ooh, face down. One. Oh, I need to do the same. And I'm going to add a face up one from my deck to the water. Come on in, the water's fine. Once I shuffle here. There we go. All right. It is a zero, but it is two swords. Man. That flying eye. You know, the first time I saw that, Look what I snitch. thought of, what I thought of was the floating eyeball guy that's in near and far. Mm, mm hmm That's just an eyeball floating above. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, so I did my two actions. I'm gonna draw my two cards. I need a power card. Oh, do you have an offering? Card. I do. Okay. Do okay. You always have to have at least one offering yep. card in your hand. Time to resolve. Ooh, so let's go yeah, let's resolve. over Leaf. here. All right, so we okay. need to flip these over and reveal. What's your total? Seven. I didn't get that. I got <laughs> six. Okay, so, and weapons were tied. Time for combat. Time for so combat. Combat goes. And you have most cards. Okay, I do. So you. We have the same amount. No, I've, I've have, got five. And I have four. Okay, so I win. You get to put a shrine down. Oh. Score two havens for me. And I move an elemental. And get a power card. I do? Oh, because Yeah, because I put a shrine down. Yes. Or a haven down. Okay, yes. Claim to haven. Haven, um, let's see, I'll move. Let's go over to the board. I put uh, my shrine here, which means I have the majority over here guy. now. Okay. This is very different. We played a practice game earlier today. It's going very different. Mm -hmm. In case anybody's wondering what these numbers are here, it's for a variant uh, on the game. If you've ever played a Red Raven game, you know that Ryan Lockett loves him some bidding variants. Oops, I went to the wrong screen, but let's chat here. Okay. Yes, he loves lots of different kinds of variants. Um, every game has a variant. Yeah. Well, I think it's neat that you have that ability to... There's a bidding fresh... variant in Deep Vents that we didn't talk about last night. Yep. 
I think it's neat to freshen things up to be able to throw in some, oh, let's try it a different way this time. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what that's for, is uh, you can bid on your seekers? What do you bid on? Uh, well, no, it's not, for bid it. it's not for bidding. It's just something, it's additional stuff to play with. Oh, okay. I haven't really read through it. Oh, okay. But yeah, you use, there are some extra cards that you play with. Mm hmm So. Oh, okay. Yeah. We've just never done that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, right, so you, I won the lore value, mm -hmm. so I get this token. It's Look funny how my, this is going. Look at my tokens. Aren't they beautiful? No. All right. And these all go away. Here and we get a new lore value. Oh, they're all five. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Okay. That was your turn? No. That was my turn? Yeah, you still have to make an offering. I am. You're right, it was my turn. Mm hmm. Okay, now it's your turn. What a surprise, I was right. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm going to play this. Seeker face down, and I'll add another seeker from here face up. Oh, that's not the seekers. That is not the seekers. They were before, but I switched <laughs> them. There we go. There's that. There's leafling. my leafling. There he is. She, there it is. Okay, I've got a fresh slate. I can remember what all my numbers are I'll now. Draw two cards. I'll draw a seeker and an offering. Resolve. Nothing, Nothing to, to resolve. resolve. It's almost like we're married. And I'm gonna make an offering here. Okay. Your turn. All right. Um, first thing. Um, I'm going to play Rock Slide. Place this card on your opponent's side of any lore token and perform another action. Your opponent cannot play Seekers on that lore token until they spin an action card to remove this card. There you go. Then take another turn. So that didn't really count as a turn. <laughs> so I will play this. Oh. And I will play this. Oh. Okay. So now you need to draw two cards. I gotta draw one of these. An offering. One of these. And a seeker. Cool. Do we need a resolve? Nope. Nope. Offering time. Oops. Play immediately. So draw again. Oh, you need to shuffle those. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Another fun fact, you don't shuffle the power, the lore power cards because after you play it, it's out of the game. Okay. There we go. Man, look at all my lore tokens. I've got one. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> I worked hard for it. <laughs> Look at all my shrines and my havens. So do you want to make an offering? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, my card rock slide was a waste. That's the end of your turn. Because we were going to, re nope, we got to resolve. Oh, no, 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 sorry. No, we don't. Okay. I am going to play Swamp mm. thing. Misty gateway. Mm hmm Move one of your seekers or exchange two of them. Oh. Interesting. I see what you're doing. Take that rock slide. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm going to play this seeker face down. All right, I'm gonna draw here and here. And now we resolve. We will resolve the rock. Yep. Okay, so here's your, this thing back. Uh, this stays there. Why? Because it says you only remove it by spending an action. Oh, so it's gonna stay here like uh -huh. forever. Until you move an action to remove it. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, combat. 
you win combat, I win combat surprisingly, apparently. with one card. I was going to win combat. All right, so let's go over here to the board. Board close up. So I'm going to put this shrine here, and which gives me another haven. another haven. I get a power card. And you get to move an elemental. Hmm. Where are you going to move it? Where are you going to move it? I'll put it here. Okay. Um, it's funny. Our daughters are watching Frozen 2, and the elementals make me think of the guardians or whatever of the forest. Oh, know? like the little lizard? No, not like the little lizard. Like the stone giant. Oh, those guys. Yeah, it looks well, like Well, they that. all are, you know, and then there's wind mm -hmm. and... Fire. Yeah. Earth. Okay, <laughs> so that was that was over here. That was for, for combat uh, weapons. You get the token. So lore value come to mama. I can't believe how this is playing out. This is so crazy. All right, then these come off. This is so crazy. Like last time it was this stinking thing is still here. Last time we played, we had, there was a good mix of everything over here on the board. Yeah. Well, I was given the idea, don't worry about havens, just go for the more tokens and you'll still win. So, that's what Well, I'm doing. that's not always true. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. <laughs> okay. Um, resolve, and I need to make an offering. I will do that. Oh, you need to take those offering cards off. Thanks. You're welcome. And I'll place this here. There we go. Your turn. All right. I will. It's really hard to not sing along right now. Oh. <laughs> to Frozen. Uh, yeah, I'll put this here, and then I will put this here. Sorry, I didn't claim it. I was going to go there. Oh. Look at me. I've got no cards. Look um, at me. I don't like that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put that here. Ooh. Okay. Can now you it's get my turn there? To perform some actions. Oh, yep. What? I, it's good. Okay. We're all good. Cool. <laughs> yes, Jeff. Jeff says he needs to get it off the shelf of shame. I think you should too. <laughs> <laughs> it's, mm. it's fun. All right, I'm going to play this one face down. And then I'm going to play Path of Vines. Oh. Draw three seekers and place one face down at any lore token. Put the others at the bottom of the draw deck. All right. While she's doing that, I'm going to go to our giveaway link. If you're just joining us for the first time or you forgot and haven't done it yet, you can go to bit.ly slash haven dash game to go fill out that stuff there to be entered to win. You get five extra entries if you enter the secret phrase, which is lore. Lore. So there's your link. You don't have to go right this minute. You can wait till after the stream if you want to. Um, and if you're watching this on replay, um, it should be open for 24 hours. So um, you can enter there as well. All right, so I drew cards. Um, I got a leaf elemental, so I had to play immediately. Okay. Um, and now it's time to resolve. All right. Leaf lore. I bet you're gonna win. Yep. All right. So I have three combat, you have three combat. We are tied cards, on cards, so but I the city win. wins combat. Win combat. Hmm. If I go here, it's nobody wins. For you. But nobody wins. Because there's be me too and then you too. Nobody wins. I don't know we the songs. <laughs> it's an old country song. I'll put it here. In the 90s. I'll put it there. Nobody wins. Well, no, I'm gonna put it. Uh, I'll put it there. It's fine. I think that we don't. I think it's a tie. I, as so far since as you I, win the combat, I get to move the elemental. As far as I know. What? That I mean, I don't think it would go like yeah, if there's you a tie. Yeah, if you can't claim majority, majority yeah. you should okay. get it. Okay. So I'll move that elemental there. So Game's the almost line. over. Okay, and then I get. The token. Man, quite a collection going here. You gotta stop. You have a problem. <laughs> we need an intervention here. 
you're hoarding over there. Okay, and then I need to make an offering. This is my only option. Here we go. Okay, my turn. Yes. Oh, we need to flip this over. Yes. I'll play this. And I will... Oh, shoot. Yeah, and then I'll play this at the rock. Is that problematic for you? No. Not at all. It's not? I'll draw an offering card. And... You are getting me this game. Um... I don't know. I mean, look at the board. Well, but all over here, you're kicking there. me. Mm. Okay. I've got to make an offering. Which means okay. we have to do this. No, that's... Offering is after resolve. Oh. You keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that. Yeah. I'm thankful for you. You keep forgetting. Okay, so my turn. I get to perform two actions, so I'm going to remove your dang, ding, dang rock slide. Get Thank it you. out of here. And I'm going to play this from my hand. Watch out. wonder what it is. Okay, and I'll draw two cards. I'll get a Seeker and a Lord Power. Resolve. Now we will resolve the water. Okay. Okay, so I'll turn this over. I'll turn this over. I have four. I've got five. five. All right, folks. And I have five combat, and so do you. And so do I. But I have more cards. So you win the combat. I do. All right, so let's go see where Laura's going to so put. I'm ready. I'm going to put it here. Okay. So I get to claim... This haven and no. this haven. Oh wait, yeah. I think I need. Bam. I think I've lost the game. Bam. And that's the end of the game, because an elemental has to leave the board yeah. to to move. He just left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we got to finish. Um, you get this token. I get this token. Yeah. And that's, that's it. that. Okay. All right, that triggers the end of the game. So what we're going to do now is go over and see who has the most points. Okay, first of all, award each elemental card to the player with the greater total lore. So Lara gets the green and the stone. I get the water. Because I only had six. And, and I had... You got 12. 12. Okay, and then I also get the Haven Guardian because I have the most shrines. You have one... Oh, shrines or havens? Havens. Even, havens, you have one more haven I than have me. More. That was really clutch coming in with those last two on the that last was. round. I'm impressed. Um, okay. That's what I was waiting for. I just wanted to hear you were impressed. Thank you. I'm impressed. Okay. All right. So, and then, so we got those, and then we get one point for t each token that we have, lore token, and then one point for each shrine. Okay. Okay, so let's do that. Hold on a minute. Say at the same time, ready? One, two, three. Sixteen. 16. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Who wins a tie on that? <laughs> the city does. I <laughs> should stop that you. All right. That's for when we resolve. Oh, hand me the rule book. Forest wins ties. No, oh, that's, that's for lore. That's for lore <laughs> tokens. Give me the rule book. <laughs> Wow, didn't I'll see that coming. I'll double check mine. Okay, so I have six for my elemental v VP. Three and three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You win. I win? If players tie, award victory to the player with a higher lore value, combining all lore tokens. That's me. That's yes, me. There are so many ties there in this ties, game. There were ties, but not now, because Laura wins. Yeah, but we tied. You win by technicality. Win. Technicality. Okay, you did a good that. job getting all those tokens. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, that was quite the game. Actually, before we go here, one last time, let's throw up the giveaway link. Go there, bit.ly slash haven dash game. So many slashes <laughs> and dashes and dots. Fill that out. The secret phrase is lore. Uh, go do that. Let's come back to say bye to everybody. Man. 
What a day of what ties. What game. Well, congratulations on your win. Thank you. I'm proud of you. But, so that, we're even now on Red Raven game week. Mm -hmm. You won last night. Oh, I won last night. Yes. And you won this. Let's see. Good thing there's an odd number of days. Oh, no. We'll see who wins. Okay. All right, this is going to well, be fun. We will see. So, come back tomorrow for us playing Near and Far. That's going to be a lot of fun because we're going to do lots of voices and acting out stuff. It'll be a blast. Thursday is Ancient World, and Friday, of course, is Islebound. Yes. All right, thanks so much for joining us. Laura, do you have anything else? No. Nope. All right, well, until next time, don't take the board game hobby too seriously. Just lighten up. And come